Well, it is the calving season for moose. And check out those little ones. Yes, wasting no time playing. These twins are under the watchful eye of mom out of the Eagle River area. Moose do tend to calve within a two to three week period, all the moose cows. So that means a lot of calves are going to be out and about. And that means a lot of protective mother moose out there. So if you're one of those that likes to go out hiking, just be careful of moose that are with new calves. Let's check out another beautiful shot. Oh my gosh, isn't that lovely? That's a swan heart. Helen Wiggins sending that in. I love how those swans greet each other. If only people were like that. <laughs> Could just touch foreheads and make a little heart, huh? Might be a nice, peaceful world that way. Here's a look at our 24-hour temperature change. Some plus signs at Unalaska into the interior. Even Nome, Anchorage also seeing slightly warmer temperatures. Let's check out those uh, current conditions. It's 68 degrees in McGrath. We have 67 in Fairbanks. Then you cross the Brooks Range north and you have temperatures into the 30s. It has reached 40 with some sunshine around Kotzebue, Bethel. At one point up to 60 degrees. Now cloudy skies and 59. We're at 57 here in the Anchorage area, and the 50s continuing out through Panhandle locations, even through Dillingham. Kodiak, 47 for you. And that rainfall, as we mentioned, it's been heavier over toward Prince William Sound through parts of the Copper River Basin. That's where that heavier precipitation is going to tend to stay over the next couple of days. We're already watching another storm system that's just now approaching the far west end of the Aleutians. This is the spin currently affecting a lot of the Alaska Peninsula, parts of the Aleutians, southwest Alaska. It eventually slips into the Gulf of Alaska, dissipates, but a second storm system will move in and kind of reinforce that spin of low pressure. Here's our situation into the interior. Some showers moving southward just past Chena Hot Springs and farther south. We have seen that lightning pick up into parts of the Copper River Basin. But a lot of the wettest weather, it's going to stay just to our east. Here's a look at the forecast. There's that storm system slipping into the Gulf of Alaska and see where it kind of bows out here. That's where we'll see another storm system kind of form back into the Gulf of Alaska, spreading even more precipitation for a lot of the Panhandle locations as we head toward the end of the week. By our Friday, though, we may be just on the backside of that system enough that we'll get some nice sunny breaks again. We do anticipate those 60s to return to the forecast. Here's a look at the uh, forecast statewide. They definitely see the 60s into the interior. In fact, close to 70 degrees for some of those locations. 30s along the coast, we'll see 50s. And that's actually a warm-up for the Nome area, Bethel 55, Kodiak, Prepare for some wet weather, too. And the Panhandle, especially the south end, could be seeing some of those showers again into your Wednesday. High temperatures, warmest around Haines, expecting 62. But otherwise, we're anticipating 50s for those highs, even around the Kenai Peninsula. Kodiak, though, cooler for you, 48 for your daytime high on Wednesday. We're back to the 50s around Wasilla and Cordova. Whittier, not there yet, upper 40s. And Golcana, 57 degrees, but that's where we'll see some of those showers lingering. Across the Matanuska Susitna Valley is also looking at highs anywhere from 55 to up to 61 degrees around uh, Wasilla, 59 for the Anchorage area. We still keep a chance of showers. Winds could pick up tomorrow around Girdwood, uh, starting out at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Some of those gusts could get up to 30 and a high temperature into the low 50s. Here's a look at our seven-day forecast. What I like about this is starting on Thursday, partly sunny skies, and the 60s returning into the seven-day forecast period and, and sticking around. So it's nice to see those temperatures finally coming up just a bit. I like seeing that one too, Jackie. Yeah.